Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be 3D printing and finishing the Witcher Medallion, specifically the Witcher Medallion from the video games. This is an easy one day build. First thing we're going to do is 3D print the file. I have it linked down below. Now, it's worth noting that this particular file prints out kind of small. I printed mine at 100%, but I'd recommend if you want it to be more accurate to the game to print out the file at 150%. As usual, we'll be breaking off all of our supports to get our file nice and clean. And then we're going to take these small sanding twigs to just give a good rough sand on the 3D print before we do any other finishing methods. Using the sanding twig makes it a lot easier to sand this entire thing since it's so small. For all those tight corners and creases, use a modeling file like the one I have here. After all that, I washed the piece to make sure that it was nice and clean and ready for our initial layer of priming. Of course, we're going to be using my favorite, filler primer. Now since this is a one day build, I'm going to be using a lot of filler primer and just dumping it on the piece and barely sanding it at all just so I can get this thing done nice and quick. I had filler primer spread all over the piece, but now it's time to make the back look a little bit better because all those raft lines are brutal. So I went ahead and took my Bondo glazing and spot putty and spread it all over the back. Now I got way too much on this thing, so you're going to see me spreading it around and trying to fix it and use even a sanding twig to get it from being inside the necklace hole. I used way too much Bondo but I was able to smooth it all out and make it nice. After that layer of Bondo, I had a lot of my 3D printer lines filled in. I went back through again with my sanding twig and my modeling pick just to make sure that everything was nice and clean and that all the edges were sharp. I even used a nail file because that gave me more support. I wash the piece after almost every layer of sanding just because I like to make sure there's no dust or debris or anything that's going to get in the way of my next painting layer. Speaking of that next painting layer, we're going to be adding another layer of filler primer, adding a lot on the back, and then plenty on the front. Since this piece is so small, I used a lot of filler primer just to minimize the amount of sanding that I would have to do and to make it much faster for me to get this thing done. I'm using a gloss black as my base layer before I paint on my metallics. If your surface has any errors in this stage, the metallics are going to make it worse. Once my gloss black was dried, I went in with my Rust-Oleum metallic finish. This paint goes on fast, but it creates a very metallic look. Now that my metallic layer was done, it was time for me to paint the only real color on this entire piece, which is the red eyes. I'm using a red acrylic paint from the acrylic paint kit that I've linked down below. Now all I have is very cheap brushes, so at first I was just using a toothpick to paint it on there because I didn't want to risk any of my cheap brushes spreading the paint anywhere that I didn't want it to go. Keep some cotton swabs handy so that you can fix any mistakes that you might make. If your mistakes dry for too long, just dip your Q-tip in some nail polish and you'll be able to pull that acrylic paint right off. To get a video game accurate look on this medallion, you could stop right here. In the video game, this piece is super shiny and clean. However, I like things grimy, dirty, and weathered. So I'm going to mix in some Mars Black and Raw Umber. And then I'll just be dry brushing that into the corners to give myself a grimy, dirty look. I can go in with an old rag afterwards to wipe off the excess and clean it back up. And of course, cotton swabs come in handy too. I went for a super dirty, grimy look. But after looking at this piece a little bit more, I decided I wanted to clean it up just a little bit and only leave some grime in the dirty cracks and crevices. So for this, I'm going to be dipping my cotton swab in some nail polish and then wiping all that excess paint off, leaving it in just the cracks and crevices. The great part about acrylic paint is you can let this dry for a few days and still use nail polish and cotton swab to get all that acrylic paint right back off. The nail polish should not affect your metallic underneath unless you rub in one area too much and too hard. 
Obviously a silver necklace would be best, but I have this leftover bronze cosplay necklace from another project. I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you make this one day build, and if you do, post a comment down below and reach out to me on Instagram. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.